Good morning, everyone. Before we get into today's hatha yoga practice, let's begin with some pranayama breathing exercise. Sit comfortably, scoop up your buttocks, making sure that you're sitting comfortably and square on your sit bone. Cross your legs or sit on to thunder pose, which is a kneeling pose. Do kneeling pose, basically you are sitting on two feet. All right, when you're ready, sitting comfortably, I'm going to sit in my lotus seat. Place both of your hands comfortably on your thigh. Ching Mudra. Erect your spine, lengthen and elongate your spine. Begin to bring all your awareness to your body. Shoulders down. Arms rested, fingers relaxed. Your thumb and your index finger gently touch each other. Head lifted, chin down parallel with the floor. Bring a gentle smile on your face. Feel your crown, notice your forehead. Feel your throat. Your shoulders are comfortable. Your arms are rested. Your feet and the fingers exposed in the air. Notice the cooling temperature. Feel the contact between your buttocks with the floor. See if you can relax your back, lower back. Why are you trying to lift them? Sit tall and smile. Notice the connection between your thigh, your hamstring with the floor. Bring your awareness to your breath. Deep breath in, breathe out. Breathe in, notice your chest rising. Exhale, breathe out. Now, bring your left hand onto your chest, right hand to your tummy. When you inhale, rise your chest and your tummy. Both together. Exhale, lowering your lower abdomen first, lowering your chest. Aligned cooling air comes out of your nose. A few more rounds on your own. Bring that softness, that gentleness to your body. 
a beautiful smile on your face. Life is beautiful. Life is perfect. Now good. Release your left hand. Stay in Qing Mudra. Your thumb and your index finger gently touch together. Rest on your thigh. Your right hand form into all together. So bring all the fingertips coming together. Gently bring it to your nose. The middle finger gently touch your nose, the tip of your nose. And index finger and the ring finger. Ring finger cover the left side of the nose and index finger cover the right side of the nose. And your thumb cover your right nostril, just outside of your right nostril and your left pinky finger, sorry, your right pinky finger cover your left moisture. Shupasham Mudra. Before we begin our meditation pranayama practice, we wanted to activate our Shushuna Nadi, which is the center of the spine. To activate that, we aim to achieve left and the right side of the breast perfectly balanced. To achieve that, we use Shupasham Mudra. Five fingers all together, cover up your nose, gently touch them, not adding any pressure. When you're ready, lengthen your spine, relax your left hand. For those who are left-handed, unfortunately, this is done by your right hand. Close your hands if you can. We're going to do 21 round of breaths or 27, depends on your timing. Let's start with 21 today. Each inhale and exhale constitute one round of the breath. Let's begin. Close your eyes when you're ready. Before we begin, just loose your up. Do not cover your nose. Your hands are placed here, but you're not, do you're pre you're not pressing anything. Just inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And Shubhashen Mudra, just gently close your both nostrils, begin to inhale. One, two, three, exhale, five, six. Okay, count yourself. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, five, six. You'll wonder where has four gone. Four is the automatic change of the breath. So we don't have to count four, the body will automatically count. So it's Kevali Kumbhaka in Sanskrit term. Continue on your own. 21 round. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three. Five six. One, two, three, five, 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 six. One, two, three, inhale, five, six, exhale. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three. Five, six. On your own, another 13 rounds.
final round. Excellent release. Now we're going to do Vishnu Mudra. So we are suppressing your second finger and the third finger, which is the air and ether elements. And we are holding your fire, earth and water elements together. And use your right thumb, cover your right nostril, and your ring finger and pinky finger touching together. Close your right, left nostril. Once again, we're going to balance out the left and right. We do it to a new one round. Nadi Shodi or Ananongwino to balance it out. So the difference between Nadi Shodi is we have pause. So we inhale four, hold for hold, exhale for eight. And where Ananongwino, we don't have the hold. So we just straight away, left 10 seconds, exhale right side 10 seconds or inhale right side 10 seconds, exhale left side 10 seconds. For the purpose of balancing of Nadi Shodi, we don't have to go that long. Each inhale and each exhale, making sure the ratio is perfect, the equal, it's one, one ratio. So we'll start with this one, two, three, five, six, one, two, three, five, six ratio, which means one, two, three, left, Nourisha inhale, exhale right side five six because number four is your automatic change of the breath, automatic pause. And then right side inhale one, two, three, left side exhale five six. Yeah. So inhale left side, exhale right side. And inhale right side, exhale left side. That's considered one round. On your own, we do it 21 rounds. Let's begin. Close your left nostril, exhale, let all the oils out from the right nostril. Let's begin. Close the right nostril, inhale left nostril, one, two, three, right, five, six. Inhale right, two, three, left, out, five, six. Inhale left, two, three, right, five, six, two, three, 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 five, six. On your own. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right.
Release when you finish your exhale from your left nostril. Now your both nauseous breath should be balanced. You can test by placing your right hand just underneath the tip of your nose. Test the air, see which side is stronger. This is the Swana Yoga that we have been practicing lately. Another method you can test your breath to see which one is stronger is just close one next nostril. Use your right index finger close your right nostril. Breathe in through your left nostril. Now test your right nostril. Use your index finger close your left nostril. Excellent. Both sides of the breast should be equal now. And now you can place your hands on your thigh in Ching Mudra or in Samadhi Mudra. Either way, whichever that you feel comfortable, let's just close your eyes, observe your own breath and the body for five minutes. Close your eyes. Notice the cooling air comes in from the nostril. Goes out. Bring a gentle smile. In today's practice, I want you to focus all your awareness on the tip of your nose. For your entire nausea region and the area above your lips, in between your no nose and above your lip, see if you can feel any sensation. This is the Vipassana breath technique step one become aware of your own breath inhale and exhale notice your own air your own breath bring all your awareness to your moisture area this round circle area between your upper lip and the tip of your nose. Or you can simply focus on the tip of your nose. Generally, that's the second step. But whichever you feel comfortable. Begin to notice the cooling air comes in and out from your nostril. Develop that awareness. See if you can notice any coldness, any warmth, any itchiness, any tightness. Any throbbing feeling, numbness, or nothing at all. Remember to relax your facial muscle, relax your shoulder muscle. There is no need to tense up. It is your own meditation moment. Stay some silent quality time 
with your own breath. Become aware and appreciate that priceless breath that you have. Hear the sound of your own breath. Be aware. Be attentive. Be focused. And relax your fingers, your toes. Notice the air flows in and out. Notice the sensations on your nose area and a smile. If your brain, your monkey brain, wanders around, that's completely normal. Try to bring it back. See if you can stay focused for ten seconds or longer. In the vipassana practice that we set for ten days, we did this practice for ten hours each day and for two days. So the aim is to develop the focus and the concentration and your awareness to your own breath. Stay focused. In the beginning, your mind will wander. Far, far away. And if your mind wanders for twenty minutes, still not coming back, then we're gonna use some breathing technique. Just breathe hard. Breathe in, higher. Exhale. In, higher. Exhale. So you're purposely doing some breathing exercise. To bring your awareness back to your body. If your mind wanders every three minutes, every five minutes in the beginning, that is pretty normal. And try to bring your thoughts back to your body. And notice there is no other technique involved. Do not count your breaths. Do not using pranayama. Slightly different to. What we used to do, just bring all your awareness to your nose area. See if you can concentrate and notice the sensation of the physical body. Now that you can allow yourself to practice this concentration exercise on your own time. We're going to do a short yoga session from now. Gently open your eyes when you're ready. Smile. Now release your legs. Your legs might feel a little bit sore. Open it. Both of them, and shift, shift, shift. Shake, shake your hands. Just let loose it up a little. Legs remain straight. Back straight. Lift it. Inhale. Open your arms. Exhale. Peace. Feel the prana between your hands. Smile. 
Inhale. See you moving your hands in your beautiful flow. Halfway, turn your palms up. Inhale. Looking up. Exhale, peace. Inhale. Change your palm. Bring the plana. Feel the energy in between your palm. Exhale, peace. Beautiful. Now bend your right leg. Open your left thigh. I think I'm gonna take this cushion out. It's comfortable, too comfortable. Can move back a little so you can actually see me. So bend your left right foot. We always start with the right side of the, your body. Now inhale. Exhale, peace. Inhale, bring your right hands. Hold your right leg. Hold your right foot. So you're bending your upper body to the right side a little. And inhale. Left arm up. Exhale, bend. See if you can touch your left fingertip on the floor. Stay. Gaze up over your left side armpit. Three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale. Now inhale. Exhale. As you exhale, bring the left hands holding your right thigh and inhale. Lift your right hand. Exhale. Bring it over your head. Bend. See if you can hold your left toe. Gaze up. Three, two, one inhale exhale peace inhale exhale turn the body to the left see if you can hold your left foot Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, forward bend. Forehead to shin, if you can, otherwise stay halfway where you're feeling comfortable, where your back remain as one beautiful line. So remain straight, lengthen, exhale, forward bend. Forehead to shin, if you can, otherwise, Rest five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, coming back to the center, release. Bring a gentle smile. One more round. Inhale. Now bring your left. Arms down, right arms back to behind. Left hands down, holding your feet and the right hand behind your back. Lengthen, inhale, exhale, forward bend. See if your forehead can touch the floor if you can. Stay. Five, 
Inhale. Now this time we're doing the opposite, right hand coming back down and your right left hand behind your back and your right hand going to hold your left toe. Same thing, lengthen your back, exhale. Release. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. 